Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give our glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to your acumen pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. Uh, back with a quick video, and this is going to be a response to a, a recent video that someone left on my page to the video Chariots on Standby. We close. All right. This person, uh, I guess, uh, account is EM. Uh, the title of his account it says, could this possibly be government space drones or something else the government is doing? All right. And if you haven't seen my video, you can watch my video. It's about the chariot to the Lord that we experienced. All right. This past uh, weekend at a, at a camp get together. And it was not only us, which I'm going to get into to really go into this guy's, I presume is a guy uh, uh, question. It says, uh, what proof do you have to verify this is the most highest chariots? It's so much going on now with other countries, with the technology and our technology. You can't say what or who's doing what. I believe the word tells us to be aware of signs and wonders. Please explain how do you know for sure what you are seeing is from uh, the most high. And, you know, you always going to have doubters. You're going to have cynics. I don't know if this person is an Israelite. It could be an Israelite. But at the end of the day, uh, we have something called faith, man. All right. And myself personally, I have over a decade of seeing these chariots over our camps while teaching at other group settings and not just uh, seeing it. Certain brothers got it on video and it's and, and we know what we are looking at. All right. I don't give that much credit to Esau to blatantly put these uh, what he deems UFOs over all the great millstone camps sometimes all at the same time all right i don't see him doing that and through the spirit uh these are the chariots of the lord man all right these things are over us because we're doing what he told us to do we are his servants all right and these things are nothing more than faith boosters but also they're going to serve the dual purpose of destruction and salvation all right uh so yeah this person you know oh ye of little faith if you are israelite that's what I, I have to say to you. Oh, ye of little faith. You don't believe the Lord uh, can show signs to, to his man, his to the woman. All right. The hopeful elect out there. He most certainly can. So uh, that's my point. Uh, to, 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 to rebuttal this, 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 uh, this statement on this video. But I want to show you something from uh, GMS Kansas City. Right. Then. I want to show a little bit of their video because they actually got it on video. What we were seeing here in Chicago, Illinois, uh, that same night, man. All right. And what's funny, one of the brothers from Kansas City was at our get together in, in Chicago. And we were seeing this, these things at the same time. And then when you go into the comment section of uh, my video, right. Uh, I don't know if I can find it. Yeah, here you go. It was a brother from, uh, I believe, Mississippi. He says, I saw last night around, I think, 10 here in Mississippi, a long line of chariots, very straight line. They were moving real slow. I could not tell where they are were coming from. The last one at the end of the line would move really slow. Then another would appear behind it out of nowhere. And and what I remarked was the uh, elder Benji uh, almost... I believe he said it's almost like they're coming out of a portal. I, 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 I think I re, I remember him saying that. All right. It says, then I would think that is like the last, then another one would appear behind it out of nowhere. And that's exactly what we, we've seen. And this brother is apparently in the truth. All right. It says, uh, come in, keep coming. Just like that, I was driving and I stopped uh, in the road to watch. Call Haloyim Yahal Bashim Yahweh This brother got faith. All right. And that was a boost to this man's faith. So, no, I don't think this is something that uh, Esau Edom just set up. Because if you go and watch my video, all the scriptures tell you what, what we're seeing and what we're experiencing. All right. But let me get into this video. I don't want to make this too long. I'm going to play a little bit from this and just grab a couple uh, scriptures. It's over! Bro, I can't even count.
count them, bro. Please, bro. Call a lawyer. How about give me a shot, man? Look at that. Look at this. Wow. Oh, this is <laughs> and that's just pure, uh, you know, emotion and reaction to seeing something like that. And this video, video really can't do it justice. It can't do it justice. And uh, hopefully you go to this page, GMS, uh, uh, or you can just type it in, Chariots Visit KC Church. So, and you can watch this video for itself. But yeah, this is what we were experiencing at the same time in Illinois, then a brother in Mississippi saw it. I'm not sure how many other camps uh, has seen, had, was seeing it that same night. All right. And it's funny, it's always great millstone GMS to talk about these things. And I'm going to keep driving that point home. I don't see IUIC, ISUPK, all these other alphabet camps covering this, which this is a major, major part of the scriptures. The chariots of the Lord and what they're going to do on the earth and how they're going to deliver the hopeful elect. Okay? So I want to make that point clear also. Uh, let's get into uh, some scriptures and that'll be it. And like I said, if you don't believe, I can't do nothing about that. This is Romans 14 and 23. And he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. And I'm using it to apply to, to the signs the Lord uh, can, can show us, man. All right. Sure, I know Esau Edom has technology and he can uh, do this and do that. But Esau Edom is, is shook, man. All right. He is shook. Uh. When I go back to my uh, community page, I posted, you, could, you should check this out, a 60 Minutes interview with Navy pilots recalling unsettling uh, uh, sightings, man. And they see these things all the time, but now they're really coming out with it because according to the scriptures, all right, you're going to have these nations come together to combat, to fight uh, the chariots of the Lord. When it talks about there was war in heaven, what do you think that's talking about? You're going to have Esau, Edom which is a represent uh, the so-called Caucasian man is a, a physical representation of Satan on the planet, on the earth today. And he's going to fight uh, the chariots of the Lord. These things that the brothers in Kansas city saw, these things that uh, we in Illinois saw, he's going to come against them and lose horribly It's written in the scriptures. Now, if you don't believe that, if you think that uh, it's Esau uh, technology, we were seeing at night. Well, have at it, man. All right. Have at it. Uh, let's go back. Let's get. Uh, this is not going to be long. Let's get. Let's get Romans 14. And five. It says one man esteem for one day above another. Another esteem if every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Right. So regardless if this, this is going to the truth. And understanding, but if you're not persuaded by the testimonies and the work, all right, and the uh, teaching that uh, the man that put these videos out consistently do, it, it, you know, it's nothing else I can do for you. It's nothing I can do for you. If you think it's Esau that's doing it and controlling it and that's not the most high and he don't have anything to do with it. All right. Uh, you know. Another scripture in Romans. Let's let's get let's get uh let's get Romans three and three, because uh you really <laughs> you really uh showing that you lack faith. Whoever wrote that question, it says, "For what if some did not believe? Shall the unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect?" Right. So we, we I don't care if you believe those are not the chariots of the Lord. All right, that's not my problem, but. My faith, my experience, the chairs of the Lord have showed me <laughs> so many times. And those are the, and those are what they look like. And those are how how they move, because when you go and watch this interview, the 60 minute interview, he was like, they don't have any technology that moves like these chariots. And, <laughs> and they don't. They're not going to be able to match firepower uh, with the Lord when that that final battle goes down. OK. And you can hear it from the horse's mouth uh, when you when you go watch the 60 minutes uh, interview. Uh, let's go back. Let's get uh let's get this this uh, account in Kings and we're going to end it off. This is Second Kings chapter uh, Second Kings chapter six. 
verse uh, 16. Uh, he says, and he answered, fear not for there, for they that be with us are more, uh, than they that be with them. Now, when you read up, this has got to do with Elisha and Elijah and an army that was coming, coming against them. And, uh, uh, Elijah told Elisha, fear not that the Lord is with them. All right. And he, and he, and I'm going to continue reading verse 17 and Elisha prayed. It said, Lord, I pray thee open his eyes. It's like he was Elisha and somebody else. It wasn't Elijah. Elijah might have already been taken up. It says, Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I, I pray thee open his eyes and he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots and fire around about Elisha. And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto the Lord and said, smite uh, this people. I pray thee with blindness and he smote them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. So the chariots that that are up in the sky which I, uh, we we saw that night man. All right? Those are indeed the chariots of the most high and I believe that on faith. Okay? I believe that on faith on how they reveal themselves to us quickly and then went away just as quickly okay so similar to uh alicia uh praying that the eyes can be open and you're able to see these things because they can cloak and uncloak very fast and i've seen that many times with these chariots but uh that's the point like i said go back and check out this video right here i'll play a little bit more of it but it's a video a beautiful video To the right, bro. To the right. And you can see right. them all in a straight line. One after one after one after one after one. And they kept coming, man. And that's good. And it's beautiful that this brother down in uh, uh, Kansas City got the, got some of this footage. All right. But that's the point. I want to give all glory, praise, and honors to you. How about you, man? I was shy. Shalom the next time.